Yeah. What do you, okay, do you charge the homeless yes. people? <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. I mean, for the library card, they say, oh, I live on the streets. You, you charge them for a library card? Uh, and then how much is that? There's not eligible for a library card. There's, so not a, there's not a charge for a library card? They're not eligible for a library card. Oh, you're just not eligible. Yeah. You need an address. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that, um, is, is, uh, is a li library director here? Yes, they are. Okay, could I speak with one? They? they? Uh, um, how many are there? Uh, I respect well, one. The and then oh, the assistant, okay. Mm -hmm. And they're here upstairs? Yeah, okay. Upstairs, and then they could, you turn to your left. Uh huh. Run into the okay, all right, thank you. So a dollar for a library card, or right, for a, <clears throat> a pass. Hey, oh, yeah, where's the library director's office? Uh, around the corner and to the left. Left? Library director. Oh, just go in. Okay. <clears throat> in here. Okay. Yeah, I have a question about the, uh, the like the dollar charge for getting on the, the Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. uh, how long has that been going on? Oh, a few years now. Oh, yeah? All right. And the library or board decided uh, on that. Actually, it was approved through city council. The, oh, the, the city council's board. in charge. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a city library. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there, so there's we're a... Funded, we're funded primarily through property tax. Yep. So, um, for people who don't have a permanent residence in the mm -hmm. city of Amarillo, there is a charge that you use okay. the library. Yeah, what, what's the exact, like, the exact year? Could I look that up somewhere, or whatever that was decided? Like, was it in the summer, in the, in the fall, winter? Oh, you mean when the internet usage guidelines went into effect? Guidelines? Sure. Uh, the, 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 the dollar guest pass is a part of the guidelines. Uh, it would have been prior to 2015, I know for sure, because it was the previous director. Um, okay. And this, yeah, this wasn't, okay, this was a city city council. They they sat down and they, they decided. Well, the city council they, appoints the library board, and then the library board approves policy for the, the library with yeah. the city council's. The, uh, the library board, is, the, li the city council decided on it, then the library board approved it. Uh, well, but, it, it, the, yeah, kind of, you got the gist of it. I mean, but I mean, what, what happened is the city council, they decided, like, some people decided for the reasons for having it, maybe others decided or uh, argued reasons against it. There were some arguments that went back and forth, and then and then they just they decided, okay, let's charge. It was posted. It's, um, as a part of the library board's agenda, we have an Open Meetings Act, so any policy that's yeah. decided upon by the library board. Yeah, is you posted. could you could you could actually watch them in arguments. Uh, no for one came to argument. Uh, no or one discussion, came to argue discussion. About. Yeah, I mean, you can watch them in discussion. Yeah, you can uh, come for, to any library board meeting. Yeah, and, 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 sit and in. is it is it possible to, like watch the his like that that meeting or what? No, it wasn't recorded. It obviously. wasn't recorded. No. Oh, well, behind no. closed. It was public, no, no. only for people who showed up. The it, library board meetings are not recorded. City council meetings are, yeah. but they they didn't decide this in council. It's a directive that city management carries out through the city council appointed board. Mm -hmm. We charge for library card. You know, a full well, library card. It costs eighteen dollars if you're not a resident of the city of Amarillo, yeah, yeah. or if you don't own business yeah. within the city. Okay, and that's been okay. for years. So no, when you say city council appointed board, you're you're talking about library board. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're they're the ones that argued for and against it. There's people that argued say, hey, you know, these are the reasons we should have it, and then it other. It was heard before the library board, and they decided it. 
and then you know any complaints yeah. that go beyond the library, library board would go to council, but none were taken to council. Okay, yeah, not recorded. Um, no. Uh, the people involved in, in the say no I on the I knee oh yeah I mean you serve a certain amount of time and then you rotate off the board mm -hmm. and so like I said this was done over five years ago so the people who were on the board at that time okay you know would have you know long since rotated off and the and this is like this is, this is considered a permanent uh, um like uh let's say. But you know, instead of them saying, oh, let's just try this for a year or two and then come back and it reevaluates the situation. Well, we that, sometimes reevaluate policy if there's enough concerns brought to us by the community. That has not been the case thus far because the, there are ha, other options in the community for people to access free ha, Wi Fi. Yeah, has there been reevaluation re meetings? Or? No. Oh no! Oh, so it's just it's been pretty set. Mm -hmm. and they just, mm -hmm. and then the following have, have sat yeah. on that. Because you know, if people can't afford to pay here, they can go over to the civic center, city hall, have free Wi-Fi. So there are other there are other options if people can't use their Wi-Fi at the library. Okay, so that okay that would be a uh, argument for charging the dollar then. But this is a discussion behind closed doors. So. No, it wasn't behind that, closed doors or not i mean library, in, anybody who showed up could have listened to it but nobody recorded it that's well it's not right. the common practice to record city right. commission uh, city boards or commissions other than city council um, mm -hmm. we we have open it, meetings anyone can yeah. come to a library board meeting but yeah. they're not recorded for posterity yeah if we have minutes you know the oh, minutes are recorded, yeah, but they're not okay. recorded. All right, that's that's interesting. And then, all right, this is public information. Mm -hmm. How much money have you collected? Like, I would do a public records request to ask. Yeah, you would. How much that. money mm -hmm. have you, um, and you would have made? To state a certain amount of time that you want that information pulled for. Oh, yeah, five years, I guess. So it's mm -hmm. 2015. Mm -hmm. This the summer or winter or fall. Mm -hmm. of 2015 they they decided and uh, yeah um yeah that's 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 interesting all right um none of those board members are are serving now right so they can only serve for a certain amount of years and then they rotate off yeah they're 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 that's it okay all right so there's really nobody to talk to about it directly it's just it's all yeah, it would have been my post predecessor. post decision mm -hmm. All right, and uh, your predecessor, they're not really, they don't have contact information or anything. And she's not involved with the library anymore. Yeah, so she's, she's, she's free and clear. Employment. Okay, um, all right, yeah, I, I guess this, all right, this is a little bit of a surprise. It's the first library I've ever seen do this. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting, okay. That's, cool. Civic Center is just that one over there? Uh, no, well, the, it's part of the Civic Center, but the yeah, Civic just, Center proper is right across the street. Prop, proper? Yeah, the, the main Civic Center. It's across the street. Yeah, it's across Buchanan. Okay, Buchanan, okay. All right, thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> thank you. All right, so they charge a dollar at the library here for Wi Fi. For a pass, I don't know how many cities are doing that, but this is the first I've ever seen. It's, uh, you know, it's, um, oh, are you paying for a good connection? <laughs> I want to pay for a crap. Apparently, the Civic Center is free, and I was told it's across Buchanan, and I just crossed Buchanan. Is is this is this like the Civic Center? It doesn't really say. It says. Globe News Center over there. It's across Buchanan. And also City, somewhere, wherever City Hall is, uh, they got free Wi-Fi too, I think. Is this like a Civic Center? <laughs> Every branch charges a dollar. I did. I did not know. I did not come to expect that. All right, is this like the Civic Center? Aren't Civic Centers set up like this? 
huge. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you guys, you guys, uh, like keep a people count? Is there anything that like beeps when people walk through? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. So there is something that's counted, maybe. Sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, okay. It's like when they uh, put those lines across the road. You ever see those rubber tubes? Yes. Is it you turn it on every so often? Yeah. So it, you wouldn't know, you, but you wouldn't know if it's on right now or. Well, um, it it should be counting people coming in and out. Right now, it should be. But it doesn't always be. Sometimes, sometimes you turn it on. Oh, it's not a matter of whether sometimes you turn it on or off. Maybe it's just glitchy or something. Is that what you're saying? Okay, because I mean, I, I'm interested, like, this is something maybe I'd ask the library director, like, um, if there is a difference in the number of people coming in between 2015 and, you know, before 2015 and now when you guys decided the dollar charge. That would be interesting to me. And that would be yeah, neat. How, back, how far back do you, like, who, who uh, collects the numbers and then and how far back does that go? That would be something I'd ask the library director. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't have the answer. Do you, um, let me, let me ask this. Um, I was interested in using the internet here. Alrighty. And then running over to the east later today. Okay. And, you know, if I pay a dollar here, mm -hmm. I, I don't know, how does that system work? It would, the dollar you pay here is just for the hour and a half. However. It pays for only an hour and a half? For the computer? But I don't want that. I got, oh, I got my own. So, yeah, oh, I got great. I got so a laptop. Be, I got a laptop well, I use. Well, it's good for all day long then, for the Wi-Fi. And, wi and if I move, because uh, I don't, I, I wasn't planning on sticking around this library all day. I, I kind of wanted to move east, and you know, I don't want to get charged another dollar. Well, um, does is it on the same system? Because it looks like it is. What I don't believe the Wi-Fi passes are transferable. Okay, who would know? You don't believe? No, I think it's what might be a little easier for you if you pay a five dollar yeah. computer card. It's good for a year instead yeah, of having to pay I only a plan dollar wide for a few dollar. days. Oh, okay. It's getting so cold. I want to go south. That's I'm a traveler. That's so um, I was just thinking today I wanted to I wanted to figure it out because you know downtown you know it's interesting. I, I don't want to stick around. I wanted to go. Uh, that, that was a plan. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I did't really want to tell you, but I mean, well, I, I didn't think it's any of your business. But since we got, since you're kind of making it, you know, that way mm -hmm. with this charge, I want to figure out, like, I want to plan a little bit better and not pay two dollars, okay. especially. Well, but you don't think that'll me, work? I don't think so. Let me. So, my supervisor's not here at the second. Yeah, She's yeah, yeah. In the meeting. I would. I, th I believe you. I believe you that it probably would. It would only work here, but it kind of looks like it should be on the sy a same system type of thing. Well, Maybe me... a person could call ahead to let them know I paid a dollar here, and that let those librarians know that I paid. Well, and that, I'm not sure if that would work. Let me make a quick phone call. You don't come communicate up. with your well, um, fellow branches. Not about internet passes. Yeah. That's and I'm running out. Is that a no no? Oh, it's not a necessarily a no no. Because I don't see like how you know it, it should, should be prevented. If I paid, you know, oh, no, so you can it, it can work all day. But you, you guys don't want to transfer that type of stuff. Is that so maybe low man on you're the yeah. Call. The library director would maybe decide that. Well, let should me I call talk and see if they're in. Would you excuse me a second? Oh, maybe Connie would know. Oh, hi, Cindy. I had a question for Connie, but Connie's upstairs too, so. <laughs> yes, sorry about that. Bye bye. Yes. So, this gentleman was wondering since I don't have any of these, maybe you okay. If he purchased uh, a Wi Fi pass here mm -hmm. and then he decided to go to East, can he use his Wi Fi pass that he purchased here over at East? Or um, it, is it just here that it's good for? No, I believe he probably could use it over there. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then if it didn't work, then I could call back here. And yeah, say, no, I think it would. I think once you're on there, it'll stay on there for that amount of for time. For all the li all the libraries. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah, yeah for, for that, you'd stay on for that the whole day. Okay. Do you give a receipt? Uh huh. Yep. You can give a receipt. You can, okay. You don't really give a receipt for that. Yes, sir. All right. That would be also not only check with yeah. Yes, Michael um, just left to go down uh, to City Hall. Well, and is it fast? Because I want to. I want to upload some things too. What's the speed on this that I I'd be no paying idea. for? No I'd be paying for like just kind of a phantom connection. I, I want to know the speed. Is 160? I, I saw 162 megabits at the Civic Center. Is it? Is it? You do speedtest.org type of. You know what? Dot com. I, I have no idea. Well, you just go to speedtest.com and Michael or yeah. Ben. Is Ben here? Ben has a man. He doesn't have a book. I would expect top notch speed with the dollar charge every day, but I mean, yeah, well, I, I don't I mean, know. That it is what it but is. That is what we give for the dollars. So, yeah. You, know, you take it, whatever, like it's a ham, really like a McDonald's you, hamburger. Yeah. You know, whatever if you we give buy you. It, you can buy it, and if you don't, you don't have to. Yeah. Yeah. You can't. You can't yeah. like uh, yeah. expect certain demands of it. Yeah. Like you might. You might block porn. You know, you might block certain websites. Like mm -hmm. I've been to some libraries where they block in sure. Instagram. You just you kind of you don't know what to expect type of thing. No, you, you but you pay a dollar for it. Yep. It's right. like a mystery bag. Yep. You're, you're like, oh, here, you, know, you don't know what yeah. toy you're and gonna get. That, that's totally your decision whether you want to do that. Or well, not. does it block anything? I have no idea. We'll Who see. knows? Um, there's I mean, nobody here. At this I, I, I don't really personally. I don't like paying paying money for something. I don't know what to expect. You know. Yeah. yeah I don't like mystery wild. bags. I don't. I don't gamble. I'm okay. not a gambler. Well, then I suggest you maybe not buy it. You're right. You know, because that's I'm not a good one. Sure what it is. That's know? a good. That's a good suggestion. Yeah. I mean, it's up okay. to you. It's up to you. There's personally. nobody we could talk to. Um, we don't have anybody here right like now. Like the tech. You know, the tech uh, support. Yeah, he is. Where did he go? What He's on a lunch he break. Uh, it's about once to one of the other branches. Let me see if I can call Michael on his phone. Yeah, I, I just asked him a couple of questions about this connection. Yeah. I mean, you guys don't write down the stats or anything, you know. Hey, no, this because this is this sounds like you're you're selling you're trying to sell it in a way. You're you're trying to make money. You got a cash register. You're, you know, you're selling it. Well, we're selling so, it, but we have to pay for the internet. Like, yeah, we're this, funded. But, but we're funded but, but by that. Walmart account. has to pay their rent. I mean, that's understandable. Mm -hmm. It's a business. But this is a so okay, that we I'm, got. You know what I mean? <clears throat> it, well, if, if he's if he's kind of a hassle to reach, I I mean I I understand I. I mean if I don't, I don't need to push it push the issue. Well, it's, it's a it's dollar. All, it's if all you, you guys... want to get it, you can get it. But if you don't, well, I you do, don't but I I wanted I wanted to stop at two libraries, and I don't want to pay two dollars and. And, and then I'll, I'll, I don't know what, what to expect. You know how much how much how many websites are blocked? Cause I just came from a library that blocks Instagram. Yeah. What's the yeah. deal with that? Yeah, I don't think anything like that is blocked. Well, you don't think. If you're on our public computers, you know there's no you, you have to watch where you go because I have to computer. watch. No, you guys might watch. Okay. I don't know what you watch. Okay. You know there, there's there's mess. I can help you. Oh. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, do you know what the kick is? Yeah, the kick. Mm -hmm. um, what about it? Yeah, yeah, what about it? It's a scanner. You can scan items to flash drive or your email. Or my email? Mm hmm. So you type in your email in that thing? No, you scan an item and you send it to your email. Yeah, so there's, yeah. there's, a, uh, there's a way to input your email into that? No, there's a way to scan an item and send it to your email. Yeah, but how would you send it to your email without con without going through that system? Okay, I thought you meant a way to bring up your email on that. Yeah. It's not. No. I mean, you, you said you're going to, that's going to take things. Okay, one more time. What you do is just take let's, an item let's write it down. or something and just doc, uh, scan the document I, with whatever it is. A yeah, picture, yeah. A photo, or whatever. There, there seems to be some kind of, uh, like, Disconnect with what you're explaining to me and me not me understanding. So I see that, I'd like yes. to write that. I'd like to write the steps down. Maybe there's something that needs to be 
a little more clear. Yep. Yeah, I'm buying. I'd like to purchase a light, one library, please, or one one Wi-Fi. Okay. You just need to see an ID. All right. Well, what kind of business is this? Walmart never asks for my ID. It's like that. They only ask when you buy alcohol. Well, that's just I, our. I'm not. I'm not buying alcohol. I understand. That's just our policy because of two things. Number one, taxes pay for the libraries. Yep. And so the city and, has set and, it up. And so Walmart that, pays taxes. And, and so the city has set it up so that if you're not a resident, they, they want you to pay a dollar. The city the council? Other, yes. They decided and so, that? And so the second part of that is it gives us an opportunity to check our records to make sure that you don't have an issue with the library that we need to get resolved before we move forward. What do you mean, like checking out books? Like if, if you're in collections or whatever the situation is. Oh, you deny me if I was in collections? Yes, we you would. deny the Be Wi-Fi because you have to get that taken care of before you use our services. Okay, I thought books were separate from Wi-Fi. That's you're saying they're they're together the same. In your in your written policy, I would read that if you're behind on uh, your how much you owe for books mm -hmm. for like late fees, then that would that would uh, prevent you from using the Wi-Fi. To the to the point at which it's over five dollars. Okay, that would prevent. It would say that in your written policy. That being over having overdue of five dollars will prevent you from getting on the Wi-Fi. Right. Okay, I, I'm interested. Is that on your website? Um, I'm, I'm interested in looking at that. You're, you're welcome to check. It, I don't know for sure. You don't know? Website, no. Well, you probably have a little binder for yourself, or maybe um, in a, in a collection somewhere that okay. people can look at. Okay. I'd be interested in looking at that. Okay. If you give me five minutes, if you want to go sit down. I'll pull out more for that our policies okay. and see if I can find the page well, that you're interested in. Is it hard to find? Five five minutes? It's if you'd like to give me five minutes, I'd be glad you to look for it. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Um, what what kind of service is it? Because I mean, it sounds like a business. I'm paying for one Wi-Fi. So, um, what kind of service do you guys do? You guys block websites? Like I was just at a library that blocks Instagram. And uh, do you guys <laughs> block Instagram? To my to my uh, knowledge, you do. Oh, yeah, for instance, to my knowledge, on the youth computers, oh yeah, they have blockers. Yeah. On the adult computers, they don't. You, okay. But we do have a policy that if you, if we see you looking at yeah. inappropriate content, yeah, like pornography or something you, like that, you look then over we my request that you. Look. Yeah. But okay, that's interesting. You separate the uh, well, the the tech support separates the. The usage, or whatever, between the kids and the, the adults. Correct. Okay, and um, I would have to specify that I'm I'm paying for an adult, not not kids, right? For the Wi-Fi, for the one Wi-Fi, is there specifications it's or? Not a differentiation. Oh, oh, it's it's the it's the static computers, not not my my laptop. That's, Correct. Right. My, okay. My point in saying that is those are the only locks that I'm aware of that the city puts on computers. Yeah. All right. And I'm interested in uploading. Do you think they, um, what do they say, slow it down as, anyway? I'm interested in uploading a couple of videos. Do um, you think they slow it down? They be in the city? Yeah. Like, um, am I paying a dollar for a dud website, dud internet? I mean, that's, you know, this is kind of a business and it's like... It sounds like more like a question for our IT department. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know I don't know what the Wi-Fi is rated as far as... Yeah, I just have to pay in. ...and things like that. It's kind of like a mystery bag. I just kind of... To some I, extent. I buy a mystery bag. It depends on what, you know, what other people I, are doing. Because I've never, like I've never paid for an, an internet, like a day of at the library before. It's, so I just, it's kind of weird. Um, Do you have a car? A car? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it might be better for you to go to our downtown branch. Because because our our tech person works at the downtown oh, branch. Oh, yeah. And so they might be able to answer those questions for okay. you better than I can. All right, all right. Okay. Well, what information do you need from me? I, I can't just tell you my name and stuff. I need to see an ID. Yeah. What about the people who don't have IDs? Like a social security card. I come in with that. You guys don't accept that. I mean, employers do. We, we, we would need, for that kind of a situation, if it's a non-governmental photo ID, 
We need to see your ID plus two other forms of identification. Okay, if, if it's uh, if it's just a little non-picture, little little social security card, you need others and to confirm that one. That okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I guess I might have it in my bag. I sometimes keep it in my car. Um, let's see. Oh, no, no, it's definitely not in this bag. Okay. All right, is there anything else you require of me? That I'm gonna go out in my car and I'm gonna go get that, that ID. In order to access Wi-Fi? Yeah. No. Okay, just, I pay my, my uh, four quarters and then I show you my ID and then I can get on to the Wi-Fi. I'd have to see your ID before I could definitively yeah. answer that question, but in theory... Oh, yeah. it depends on the... Oh, you're saying if I have a $5 overdue fee or something. Exactly. And I've never been in this area before. That's, I understand. But uh, somebody by my, somebody could have a name similar to me. Well, that's but, part of the reason we want to see your ID. Do you, so we can do you take a photocopy it? of the ID? No. Okay, so if there was somebody of my name, I mean, he wouldn't be able to confirm... Maybe by birth date or something. You, you keep that record? I'm not sure I understand your question. Well, if there was somebody who was named me, Travis William Hines, in your computers, mm -hmm. and, and they have an overdue overdue fine of $5, then that would prevent me from from using it, right? Our, re our, how records, would our records would indicate your ID number, and that's how we verify. Oh, oh the driver's license number? Does it have to be in Texas? You, would only, you just take whatever numbers are on the driver's no, license. You would only have a record if you lived in Amarillo. No. That's part of why we see no. IDs. You won't have a library record no. if you live outside I, of Amarillo. I won't, yeah. Okay, well, we'll do, all right, we'll just see how that uh, looks. i, I got to go to my car. Okay.